What's going on everybody? It's Saturday night. Not a normal stream day for us, but we're here because I missed a couple Wednesdays and I've been playing this game, SnowRunner, and wanted to share with you guys. First up, I want to say with all the stuff going on in the world right now in the U.S., all over the place, really, hope everyone's staying safe. Make sure you're staying safe, being smart, and uh, I'm glad and appreciate you guys being here, hanging out with us on Saturday night, having some fun, playing some games, chit-chatting, chilling, so that's what we're going to go with. And I uh, hope everyone's staying safe, of course. Who we got in the house already? Give a shout out to Juggalo Zombie for being the first one in. Thanks so much for jumping on in. What's that smell? Says Yeet. How's it going, man? Hope everyone's doing good. The legendary Gooker in the house. Pooch Scott always in. Saying hi to everybody. Appreciate you, man. Thanks for jumping on. Titan Glass. We got Kilgore Trout is in as well. Mr. Boss is in. Is ta always talking about SnowRunner. Says it's an addictive game. It is, man. It definitely is. I've been having tons of fun playing it. I am uh, excited to share with you guys if you guys haven't seen it yet. I do see Charlie in as well, man. Brad, thanks for jumping on in. Uh, appreciate you as well. Hope you're having a great night, man. Maybe we can jump on and play some uh, GTA later on or something. You guys are on. We'll figure it out. Whiskey Will's in the house. How's it going, man? Game Fire's in. Alex is in. You guys are all jumping in now. King David's in. Beaver Steve. How's it going, everybody? We got Zink in as well. Says, what's up, Austin? It's not going pretty good. Raven's in. Zink, you're here. That's awesome, man. Raider. How's it going? Mystic Mike's in. I know you've been playing this game a lot too, man. I'm excited to hear uh, your takes on it and your tips because I've been having lots of fun. William, how's it going, man? Please rag on Red Dead. Well, I rag on it all the time, man. Um, I don't know what's up with that game. Hopefully we can jump back into it and get some content soon. Something to stream and play and have fun in that game. We'll definitely be trying our hardest to do a community lobby on Wednesday like we always do. So definitely... Watch for that on Wednesday. Hopefully we can get everyone in there and uh, have some fun with everybody over there. We're here to play some SnowRunner, though. We're having tons of fun. It's Saturday night. Hope everyone's having a great weekend. I'm doing pretty good. I, man, the Pacific Northwest, I tell you. That's where I live, way up in the Pacific Northwest. I live in Washington State. Everyone always knows it rains here a lot. And if you guys watched the stream yesterday, it was like almost 80 degrees here yesterday. Beautiful sunny day. I had to have shorts on, no socks and shoes on when I streamed last night. It was so hot in my house, in my room with all the lights on here. Today, 7 a.m. this morning, got woken up to thunderstorms. And it's been pouring down rain all day today. And it's barely 50. I just shut my window. It's actually cold in my house right now. It's ridiculous how much stuff changes. I don't know why Chad hasn't showed up on this screen at all. I got it over here. Let me reload it real quick and say... Yeah, come on, chat. Work, man. You stupid widget. I don't know what's up with that. <laughs> Even Magic Bud from Pony. Pony from what? What are you guys talking about? Heard that many times, bud. You've heard that many times. <laughs> oh, man. Mystic is in, of course. Whiskey Will says, The safest place to be is uh, here with family. That's for sure, man. You got to pick this game up, Charlie? For sure. Definitely watch it for a while and uh, check it out. After you beat... After you beat Astrodur, what is Astrodur? Is that one of those little indie games you always like to play? You always play in the weirdest games, man, but I bet they're always awesome, man. About a week from hitting year daily challenge streak on Red Dead. That's awesome, King David. Let us know when that happens, man. We'll give you a big shout out. That'd be pretty awesome. Uh, Bruce, you bought uh, the new bike Astro, the A50s, for 500 bucks. The A50, that's what I got right here, man. They're pretty awesome headset, let me tell you. They sound great. I love the box here. It works great for the kind of the system that I have set up. So it definitely is pretty awesome. Pickle Babushka's in the house. How's it going? Did you guys watch the the launch today? Who watched the launch today? I was super excited, man. I love space. I mean, I'm a fairly big Star Wars fan. Not like crazy nerd Star Wars, but hey, man, I love space. Super excited for that mission to go well. Uh, Doug and... What's the other guy? What's, it's Doug and something, right? I can't even remember the guy's names now. What's the freaking astronaut's name? I know his name's Doug. I keep thinking of the dog from Up, right? The, the dog Doug. We're going to go to space now. <laughs> You've been grinding money on GTA. It's always good. There's some good bonuses this week as well. Definitely good bonuses. Joe, how's it going, man? Thanks for jumping on. What's this game about? You got to check it out. It's all about driving trucks in the mud, making deliveries. Having fun. So you guys you guys can definitely check it out. I gotta turn my phone off. The Turtle Beach Stells is where it's wasn't cutting it. Those are good too, man. Yeah, it always sucks when how long how old were they? Headsets 
seem to kind of die, but these ones haven't been too bad. So we'll definitely check it out. CNN really screwed it up, did they? Really? I watched it live on YouTube uh, just from like the SpaceX NASA uh, live stream. It was pretty awesome. I liked it. They launched while on 15 in the countdown. No, they launched right on time for me. I watched it right on time, man. The countdown, CNN had their own countdown on and it sucked. That sucks, man. Tomocat, how's it going? Thanks for jumping on. Lost your mind when you lost your load just around the corner. Uh, in this game, I if you saw the thumbnail, I rolled my whole load the other day and had to go hit my other truck and flip my truck back over, get a crane out. First time I had to use a crane, it was a lot of fun. But I was super excited for the launch. Super excited to see them uh, get to the space station. That's that's just cool. My favorite part of the launches that have been happening, all the tests they've done recently, I mean, it was the first time they actually SpaceX launched uh, people, right? But I love it when the rocket comes back down, like the booster rocket comes back down and just lands. Just, it's so cool to see that happen. Not like a parachute down, they gotta go fish it out of the ocean. No, it just comes and lands right on the freaking, like their, their, what do they call it? They call it their uh, satellite boat or whatever, right? Because it's a satellite because it's out in the open, right? Let's show over the game, have some fun, hang out on Saturday night. Hope you're having a great night. I saw a couple people were drinking some beer. That's a good thing, man. Chilling out. Let's jump on over. So this is where we are. We're in our garage right now. This game is a lot of fun. And uh, I don't have the chat bot up right now, so I don't have chat. I forgot to do that. You guys aren't getting points. Let me fix all that before we start going. If anybody tried to throw some uh, commands in there, it probably ain't working because I don't have any of that up right now because I'm a slacker. <laughs> the only thing that sucks with the chat bot that I work and all the point system and stuff, I have to open it or reconnect it when the stream is actually live. So usually I do it in that short amount of time when the starting screen is on, but I completely forgot. There we go. Now I got your guys' chat over here, which is good. I can move my move my face and read some stuff, and you guys can start using some stuff. You're ranked 12 in SnowRunner? That's awesome, man. I'm ranked 5. I hope to get ranked 6 today because I want to get some new tires for my stuff. We know Austin doesn't like getting the crane. I don't like definitely getting the crane, for sure. Yeah, that's not good at all. Launch on the test rocket was cool. Well, it sucked for SpaceX, but boy, it looked good. When the, uh, a couple years ago when it crashed, yeah, when it like tipped over, yeah, that was an expensive test there. I'm glad they all got it working good. You're drinking a margarita, Comic Cat? That's awesome, man. That's awesome. All right, come on, chat. Load up. Come on, chat. Work over here for me. Let's get this thing going. Is this game multiplayer? Bruce says, yes, man, it is. It is multiplayer. Uh, Mystic probably knows a little more about it. I think it's like a four-person co-op type multiplayer. There we go. You're rank 10, need those off-road tires? I think you most of the off roads at rank eight, right? I can get some all terrains at rank six, so I'm I'm look waiting for that, man. I'm waiting to get uh, that. We should be able to get that today. But I got a few vehicles. Look at I got this truck isn't that great um, because it's not four wheel drive, so it gets stuck a lot. I just found this thing. We're gonna go explore a little bit with this, so you guys can see that a lot. Um, I got this guy. He, he I got him set up to pull semi truck trailers. This is my main hauling truck. It's got full drive. I can lock it in and it doesn't get stuck very often. And uh, I got your first truck you get down here. My good old little Chevy Silvanato. That's right, right there, right? You can have private and public co-ops. That's awesome. That's awesome, man. We definitely got to all jump into it. I want to go mud with you guys. You haven't seen Smokey or Pony on in a while? I know Game Fire. They've been out just doing other stuff. I know Smokey's been working a lot lately again. You know, it's that time of year where his, his work picks up. So he's been working quite a lot. Pony's been out enjoying the sunshine. He's got a couple of new baby chicks to take care of. I saw some pictures of them today. They're pretty awesome. She's been doing a lot of stuff with some baby chicks. But yeah, I've been enjoying it quite a lot so far, actually. I've been playing it a lot. It's minty green. Actually, the reason that's minty green is this is an international scout. And my dad used to have an international scout, minty green, just like this. Back probably when I was... I mean, it was before my mom and dad got divorced. I mean... Family history going on, you know? <laughs> so it was, I mean, it had to be when I was like in kindergarten, probably. So, yeah, I mean, it was a long time ago, you know, early 80s, early 80s. All right, I'm dating myself. <laughs> I remember it had a rusted out back corner in the roof as well and leaked water. 
That's why I made it minty green. I'm going to send him a picture of it. I just got this the other day. Scouts are old Broncos, man. And actually, my favorite my favorite uh, vehicle is a Bronco. I had a built-up Bronco, too, for a while. The ice wheels? Okay, sure. I haven't been in the snow yet. Uh, let's take a look at the map. I'll show you guys how big this game is, man. It actually is crazy. Uh, this is the local map that I've uh, unlocked. I've unlocked pretty much all of this area. I've roamed around. You go to these watch towers and it kind of opens it up for you. Um, and this is just a fourth of the Michigan map. A fourth of it. This is just a fourth of the Michigan map. If we go to the global map real quick, you guys can see. In Michigan, the Black River, there's actually four areas. And I just went to this area the other day but didn't do anything in it. So I haven't done much. We'll probably go do some exploring in there. There's four areas here. Then there's the Alaska map, which has four areas. And there, I bet there's a lot of snow there. And then there's the Timer map that has like three areas. So there is a lot in this game. A lot, right? If I go to my player thing, you can see I've only unlocked 24% of the Michigan stuff. I mean, it's huge. This game is quite big. Charlie, no, I didn't get the season pass at all. I might buy it though. I might buy it. Uh, Will says, GG Austin, that's the color, man. You remember? For sure, man. That is the color of an international scout, right? I couldn't have made it any other color at all. You're, you're single, so you're dating yourself too? <laughs> you're single, so you're dating yourself too. Well, I guess I'm dating myself as well. I'm single as well. But I was talking about dating about being old, right? <laughs> like a, 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 a yearly date. I'm dating myself. I just mentioned it the other day. What part of Michigan is it? Uh, Joe, I don't know, man. I think you're from that area, right? It's called, uh, what was the map called? I mean, whoops, I didn't want to do that. My bad. Uh, get that thing back out. Um, we want to go to our map real quick. It's called, they call it Black River. I mean, it's a lot of trees and stuff. I'm not sure about the Michigan area. It looks probably Northern Michigan area, right? I don't know if it's based off anywhere specific. You're in California, but you're from Michigan. Ma'am, Rob, rock on, man. Rock on. There's a lot. There's a hell of a lot to it. It looks like it's big. Coma Cat misses the 80s. All right, so let's just get into it. Uh, pretty much you do deliveries. I mean, everyone's going to say, oh, man, you do deliveries? That's like Death Stranding. That was a boring game. I really like that game. I like doing these delivery type stuff. And a lot of them are pretty difficult. You got to kind of figure out which way you're going to go. Because when you first start this game up, um, I had to build this bridge here. I had to clear a roadblock over here. I had to build this bridge before I could get over this way. So you got to kind of figure out where you're going to go. Um, if you go in the wrong area with the wrong truck, you're going to get yourself stuck, man. You're from Tennessee, but you live in Michigan as well? Rock on, Joe. That's awesome, man. Well, you might... Let, let me know if when we get out in the map, if it kind of looks like Michigan area. I don't know what Michigan looks like. It definitely looks like a lot of the Pacific Northwest to me. But Michigan might look like that as well. You're getting it right now, Charlie? Rock on, man. Rock on. We got to play it later tonight. Maybe, maybe we'll all get in. I know uh, Mystic has it. I think Bruce said he might be getting it too. Maybe we could jump in and do some uh, some uh, multiplayer later on. Uh, what I'm going to do right now for us in here in stream, I'm going to go to this watchtower so I unlock this area. And then I have upgrades. To uh, A lot of the upgrades on your vehicles, if I go to customize here, um, a lot of these you actually have to go find. Like this engine, you have to go find this. This one's found in Michigan, which could be in any four of those areas, right? Uh, this one's found in Michigan as well. Um, I actually did find a pretty awesome freaking transfer case, like transmission already, which makes this thing have some mad gears, man. Uh, I haven't drove this thing very much, though. Let's just get it the heck out of here. Oh, man, it's dark, too. One thing about this game, though, is you can go to your map and you can just uh, use triangle and skip time. So I just skipped it to morning time so we can play during the day all the time. So you guys don't, uh, uh, you know, so you can see the game, right? You just chain tires really needed in Alaska? I bet they are, man. That's why I haven't really jumped into there yet. I can go to Alaska right now, but I really want to go for here. How much? How much is this beer, Steve? It's $40, I'm, I'm, sh I'm pretty sure. It's not a AAA game, so I think it's 40 bucks right now because it is still pretty new. Uh, I'm playing it on PS4 Pro right now. I'm playing it on a PS4 Pro. So it does look pretty good for me on a 4K monitor. 
Uh, who we got in here? Just a drop in the $20 super chat already, man. Appreciate you, man. Thanks for jumping in the stream. Always jumping in. Dropping the support. Much appreciated, man. Hope you're having a great Saturday. The International Scout was a tippy. Was tippy? Like, uh, for me, you like the Chevy? It probably is. I might not raise it up, right? You got to keep those things kind of low center of gravity. This game is... The mechanics in this game, as far as the driving off-road, are pretty spot on, man. I've done, in my time, a lot of off-road driving. I've had 4x4 trucks, lived out in the country, done a lot of that stuff, and they're pretty spot on, man. So it is pretty awesome. You have it on PC? I wonder if it's cross-platform. I don't know, man. You guys let me know if it's cross-platform. Once you put the roof rack on the Scout, it gets pretty tippy. Yeah, I probably won't put too much weight on it, right? Yeah. Drew says, F playing Red Dead Story last night. He ended, ended finishing with Arthur and started to build my house with John. After you had the blast before I saved it. Now you're right back to freaking Arthur. Really? You lost your save? Man, that sucks, man. Ah, uh, Raven, it's not cross-platform. That sucks. That sucks, man. All right, so we're going to unlock our handbrake and uh, get driving, right? Here we go. Uh, first thing we're going to do is uh, cruise on over here. I'm going to make a mark. Um, I kind of know where we're going, so I'm going to make a mark right there because I'm going to turn up that road and go unlock that watchtower, and then we're going to cruise up this ridge and get those two upgrades because there are a couple upgrades that I'm hoping to get for these trucks here. And off we go. It's going to be a slow driving around game. Hopefully we don't get stuck. Go do some exploring, do some mud bogging, hang out with you guys on a Saturday. Uh, we'll do some deliveries in a little bit once I go unlock that stuff. You suggest going to Russia? If you see it able to buy once you get a vehicle? Yeah, I'm going to run into a bunch of stuff watching you guys. Gamefire, it is on all platforms. I wasn't sure if the multiplayer is cross-platform, though. That I'm not sure about. I haven't drove this truck very much. I'm probably going to run into a lot of stuff. And, uh, yeah. Watching you guys. This game is super touchy, man. The controls on it are... Uh, Super touchy. So we're going to lock in. Lock it into full drive right there. Get to this mug real quick. You're downloading now. It's not that big either, man. Uh, I think the full game is about... It's in the teens, I think. I think it's maybe like 16 gigs. It's not too big. We're going to be sliding around a lot. All your vehicles have winches. You can't upgrade them. I might be able to upgrade some of them tonight. If I get ranked up a lot. Um... But the winch you use is a lot. It's actually quite a lot of fun. I had to go rescue a trailer stuck in the mud. And I was, I was, I'd like winched myself to it. And then I winched myself away from it. And then winched it, the trailer to myself. And then I winched myself to the next tree. Winched the trailer to myself. I got the trailer out of the mud, man. There is another trailer that's stuck in the mud that I haven't been able to get yet. I should get it on PC with mods. I have seen that, and there's some pretty cool mods that they have for the PC as well. I just don't like... I don't know. I don't like dumping a bunch of stuff on my computer, because my I use my computer for quite a lot of other stuff. I don't like dumping games very much on the computer as, as much as... And all those mods, you know. Because then you start running into stuff like that, and you get messed into stuff. Oh, man, we're bouncing around. You played Mud Runner? It was a lot of fun. I've never played Mud Runner, and uh, this is pretty much like the same, you know, just better graphics. I'm not sure what else. Probably a little better stuff. I'm not how sure old Mud Runner is. You do not have a mini map at all. You do not. Uh, so you gotta like learn where you're going. You can, you can. One thing you can do is um, I can. When I first started, I did this a lot too. I kind of know this area fairly well, so I haven't been marking stuff. Um, but you can, I can like, you know, go mark. You can mark yourself a trail like this. Right, this right here. See, I kind of mark myself a trail. Now we kind of know where to go and turn to. You can do that. That's really the only kind of mapping system that you have, which is good. David, how's it going, man? This game is 40 bucks. It's a $40 uh, double, t it's not a triple A, you know, it's like a double A game. So it's a $40 price tag right now. It's pretty new. I think it came out maybe a month ago at the most. You never know. It might go on sale soon too. The map is pretty easy to learn once you're driving around quite a lot. You kind of learn where you can't go and can go with different vehicles. 
Oh jeez. <laughs> we almost plowed into that thing. It took it, it didn't take me too long to learn the map I'm in right now. We are gonna go explore a new map later on in the stream. Um so you guys will see what it looks like when it's completely dark because it is an explorable map or explorable it's yeah you gotta explore it to learn it right all right we got some mud coming up this truck should be pretty good through here and actually this truck has like a high drive too i just shifted into high foil drive we should be able to get through all this stuff pretty good and we're gonna want to turn right here right isn't that what mark said go up this way I'm pretty sure it's worth the money too, Mystic. Uh, yeah, we gotta go that way, but we don't wanna go through that mud. That looked pretty thick. You gotta watch where you wanna go. Oh, I turned way too early, didn't I? Yeah, we wanna go up this road right here. Yeah, we're gonna make it. You paid 70 bucks for the premium? I was about ready to. Uh, I'll probably get a, oh man, we gotta downshift to regular full drive now. All wheel drive. We gotta get this hill. I mean, this, this, game is pretty fun if you like going out and going out in the woods and mud bogging and climbing through trees i mean look at this we're we gotta climb up this road right here and get around these corners right here that little international scout it's pretty awesome it does make it rock re pretty realistic uh the you can turn the hud all the way off too i like having the hud on so i can see what gear i'm in though because if you turn the, i wish you could turn off some things like i wish i could turn off this over here and not everything else where are we at? Which way we gotta go now? So I gotta watch. Uh, we gotta go, I think, this way. Oh, there's like a tree in the room up here. No, it's just a branch. Just a branch. Game is a bit too expensive for your taste? Yeah, it'll probably go on sale. Definitely watch for it. If it goes on sale at all, I'll definitely let you guys all know. Uh, I would imagine, uh, you know, 30 bucks isn't too bad at all. I, I think it's worth the 40. I've been, I've been having a lot of fun with it. I've been playing it quite a lot. There's our tower we were trying to get to. That was, in, that was pretty easy to get to. So like I said, when you first start... Oh, did we just get stuck? Almost. That was a deep mud hole right there, man. Definitely a deep mud hole. So when you first go in here, and you guys will see this when we go into the, the dam area because we haven't been in that spot yet. Um, but everything's blacked out. And see how we just we just opened this up a little bit because we uh, went to that, uh, that watchtower. Um, I'm just going to follow this road down here. I'm going to make a few marks so I know where I'm going. I want to turn that way, and then we want to go up that way to get this uh, upgrade. See that upgrade? Upgrade! Reminds me of Idiocracy. You guys seen that movie at all? It's hilarious, man. David said it looks awesome. By the way, you joined the Discord. Rock on, man. Oh, you're uh, Fortuna123. Right on, man. Sounds great. Yeah, you just got on there yesterday. Bruce, I have it ready in 20 minutes as well. Yeah... Uh, Din, I do know the multiplayer is a bit glitchy. Um, I do know they've been working on some upgrades for that, but we play lots of glitchy games anyways, so most multiplayer games are always has issues when they first come out. But they have been dropping some new stuff as well. Uh, Mr. Bosch just leveled up to Buckaroo rank. Rock on, man. Thanks for uh, spending so much time in the stream for ranking up. Much appreciated, man. Bruce says make sure to er or, uh, smash that, stash that like button, guys. We got already. My uh, like button thing isn't updating at all for me. I don't know how you guys are doing over there, but I bet you guys are smashing it pretty dang good. I'm much appreciated for all support. Yeah, upgrade. <laughs> I gotta watch that movie now. That movie's freaking hilarious. I like money. <laughs> oh man, we're popping a wheelie here. Let's get around this corner real quick. What, what gear are we in? We're all wheel drive. We should be able to get turned pretty good. Uh, we do have lights as well. See that? We got headlights. Oh, jeez. Oh, my gosh. We just freaking launched this sucker. This freaking scout is bouncy, man. We freaking launched it. It's the norm. <laughs> this car is easy tip. Yeah, I gotta be. I gotta watch it, man. We freaking bounced that sucker, didn't we? Freaking launched. Hit the like button before you even said what's up. Oh, jeez. Yeah, I'm gonna... I gotta pay attention to this road real quick. I, I I was practicing moving my head a lot when I was uh, playing this last night, and uh, I was staying on the road pretty good. Cyber CDN, thanks for smashing that subscribe button, man. Much appreciated. All right, we're going back down the hill now. Uh, did I go the wrong way? 
Oh, that's the mud right there. Oh, we might get stuck. Oh, jeez. We gotta shift gears. Where am I going here? Yeah, I totally missed. I totally missed my uh, my turn. Look at that. Can I get up there? Some other way? Why do I go back? I think I probably should go back over to here. Dang it. We missed it. I was supposed to turn right there. I was supposed to turn right there, Austin. Totally missed it, man. That's all right. You do that a lot in here, man. You do that a lot. Oh, I don't have reverse in that gear. I forgot. <laughs> Water? Like in the toilet? Yeah. But what's in Brondo? It's electrolytes. So what are electrolytes? It's what plants crave. <laughs> do you know what the in-game hours will be like? In this game, I don't, man. It is a pretty... You could probably grind through it quite a lot. I would probably say it's a lot. Um, I'll probably be playing this game for 60 plus hours probably to complete it, I imagine. Because, you know, I've just been exploring a lot. I, this game has quite a lot of activities to do if you want to complete them all. Um, I imagine it's a lot, for sure. I am on my way to 14,000 subs. We just we just topped the the 13,000 mark. We're about at 13,600 right now. I appreciate all you guys for smashing that subscribe button and hanging out. All right, this is where we were supposed to go. Up this way. This truck does have some good torque. So it is good for out here exploring. I did roll it the first day I found it. All the vehicles that I have right now, I've found on the map. That's one of the cool things about this game as well. Is you, uh, I need to put the handbrake on. Is you find vehicles. Uh, Stevic says, do you need the season pass to have fun in this game? I do not have the season pass. World War II is available until 7-7? Really? Only until 7-7? It should be available to the end. Oh, 7-7. You're right. That's July. I was thinking June for a second there. Brad, you freaked me out. The Hummer in this game is a beast. Mystic, I have to rank up to get that, I think. Gilgore's back in the house, man. Thanks for jumping on. I'm not exactly sure what's in the season pass. I did not buy it yet. And I've been having a blast in it. Everything that I have in the game right now is available uh, just for the game price. What does the color of the mud tell you? Uh, it does get pretty mucky. You gotta watch where you're going. Oh geez, this is a tight squeeze right here. I might have to downshift to like low gear, super low gear to get to this nice and slow. End up in that freaking golly over there. There we go. Get out of here. Oh geez, oh geez, oh gosh. We're going down. What gear am I in? Why don't I have reverse? Okay. Brakes on. Do we have anything we can winch on to? <gasps> I almost rolled it. We almost rolled it. You just bought the truck? Which truck did you buy, man? I found this one. Will, it's as slow as you want it to be, man. I mean... It is, you gotta do a lot of deliveries and the trucks don't go too fast. You gotta go through the mud, you know. It's it's a laid back, chill game for sure. You found the, you found the Hummer free in Alaska? Rock on, man. I think, I can't get to it right now. I gotta see if I can winch out of here. Can I reach anything over there? Oh, man. Uh, let's go back into low gear down here. See, let's lock the diff in. Uh, I can't lock the diff in in this. Diff lock is always on. It's always on in this gear. Oh my gosh. Think we can get out of here without crashing. Reverse. Break off. Oh, this thing doesn't have reverse. Low gear doesn't have reverse. This is low four-wheel drive reverse. Isn't it? Why can't I get going here? All right, come on. Oh, jeez. Turn the wheels that way. Come on, come on, brake on. Oh my gosh. <laughs> this is what happens, man. The one good thing though, if you roll your stuff, you can, and you stall your engine, you know, you flip it. Uh, why am I? 
Alright, we need to try to get off this rock. Get back on the freaking road, man. No, we, we're gonna, we still gotta back up. Okay, now we can get turn this way, I think. No, we're still... This... This hill road right here is, uh, nasty. Let me tell ya. I gotta stay on this road real quick. We're stuck on a freaking rock now. Oh, jeez. Might take me a minute to get out of this. We are, like, high-centered. Come on. There we go. There we go. Okay, we made it. Break on. Stay right there. We made it. I thought I was going over the cliff right there, man. You guys got a heist going on? Got the Platinum Edition? Uh, so you'll get the Scout? That's awesome, man. Number is free in Alaska, Mystic says as well. I'll have to get it. I'll, I'll find it when I get there for sure. I've been taking the game kind of slow. I can go to Alaska right now if I want to. But I've been having a lot of fun just playing right here. <laughs> Alright, you guys get the high going. I'm going to try to get around this corner real quick and uh, get to where we're going without falling off this cliff. That was close. I could have just full send it probably down that hill and been alright. But uh, let's try to get up here without falling off the freaking side of the mountain. Sorry, can we get in high gear? No, we can't. The engine's still on. Alright. I think that's where we're going now. Where are we going at now? Okay. This is the road we're supposed to be on. Nice. We made it. Vader says, awesome game. Take your time. No hurry. Yeah, the I, the Chevy itself was a, is a good ex exploration uh, vehicle as well. I was just, I was excited to get this because, like I said earlier in the stream, my dad used to have one. And I was able to make it this color, so I wanted to drive it for a little bit. I need to back out of that a little bit. Oh, there's a little uh, house up here, huh? All right. We're making it. Oh, yeah. What do we get? Ooh. We got raised, if available for purchase. We got some freaking suspension. Nice. Hopefully, uh, hopefully that's for our big rigs as well. Because I want to raise them and put some bigger tires in there. I don't think I'm going to raise this guy. Definitely not. Because he will flip over. At least the same buggy as Red Dead Redemption. Yeah, any any online game, you know, has a little bit of bugs. Especially when they first come out. I don't know why Red Dead still has that for such a long time. I did pick this color, Kilgore. I forgot what color it was when I found it. Uh, but I went back to my garage and painted this color. This is where what color uh, International Scout should be. For sure, man. Phil, it's your birthday on Tuesday. You decided to waste 145 on a scuff controller. They're pretty awesome, man. Which ones you get? Which ones you get? And uh, I know it's early, man. But let's wish everybody wish uh, Phil a happy birthday. Where's my buttons at here? Yeah, where's my happy birthday button at? I know it's early. Remind me if you're watching on Monday as well. We'll get you another birthday wish out there, bud. How, uh, which one did you get, man? 145, huh? Is that, what? what is that, pounds or something? I don't know. All right, where are we going at now? We're going to this next one, which is way over there. Uh, so we need to go back down this road and turn right here. Uh, let's make a mark right there so I kind of know where to turn to. And then we're going to turn up this road. Go up up that way. There we go. So we got to get turned around now. Without flipping this thing. Oh, that's not a good... That's a good spot right there. I just... Didn't make up my mind before I... Uh... Oh, jeez. We can't turn right there. Let's go up this way again. Turn our camera around. There we go. I want to back right in there. Turn, turn, scout. Oh man, look at the front of my scout. Oh man, what did I smash into? Dang it. All right, don't go off the side of the cliff. Look at that freaking cliff down there. Let's not, let's not crash, man. Let's definitely not crash. Your Chevy you kept all the way through. Repairing a scout vehicle. Pro tip is if you need gas and you have the money. You can buy a fuel container and sell the fuel container back? Oh. 
I don't I've never had to pay for gas though, right? I usually just uh when you when you recover your vehicles back to the garage, uh you get gas and you can get gas at the gas stations, right? You have to buy gas. Alright, let's get turned down this road. The graphics are pretty nice too. I am playing on a PS4 Pro on a 4K monitor, so I'm I'm pulling hard gra hardest hardest graphics as I can. Hopefully it's looking good for you guys. The stream's looking good over there. Let's do multiplayer with viewers next time, Austin. We'll do it, Jay, and we'll do it, man. We'll get it figured out. It sounds like a couple of the posse is getting the game right now, so we'll test out that multiplayer over the weekend probably a little bit. And uh, we'll get it set up, man. We'll get it set up for sure. Ooh. Yeah, you do get damage as well. You can damage your vehicles quite a lot. All right, let's just... Uh, Make this turn nice and easy here. All right, full send down the hill. There we go. Nice. Graphics look nice, Comicat says. They are pretty good. I have noticed a little bit of uh, um, vegetation rendering and whatnot. I mean, in the distance, you know, distant rendering of vegetation a little bit. But that's... The game isn't huge. Like I said, the... Uh, it's only about 17, it's definitely less than 20 gigs. Um, so it's not massive. So you, you would, uh, you would expect that, right? For sure. All right, let's go get this upgrade now. And then I'm gonna go back to the, go back to the garage, the garage and uh, this car burns fuel? Oh man, it does. You're right. I'm almost out of gas. And the one thing is, your vehicle, if I just sit here and talk to you guys like this and my truck's running, I'm burning gas. Burning gas like crazy. Uh, now I can um, shut my engine off like that, right? And now I'm sitting here not burning gas, which I never remember to do. <laughs> Uh, hopefully I can get up here and get this upgrade before we run out because it's one thing you can't do is you cannot get out of your vehicle at all Everywhere you go in this thing you got to be in a vehicle to activate stuff You could find fuel containers all over the map All right, we made it up to this place we got to get this upgrade real quick This thing does not have a very good turn radius. You think this thing would turn like super fast Come on be something good be something we want be something great a new engine, not available for this truck, but I think that might be available for my big truck. Nice. That's awesome. That is awesome. All right, let's, uh, now we can bring up our function menu and just go to uh, recover, which is going to bring us back to the garage. Bam. Look at that. Uh, let's see. I want to see the two upgrades I got if they're available for my main truck. This bad boy right here. Is this engine available? Oh, no, this one only has V6s. Dang it, I wonder what that V8 was for. I need to find a big old V6 for this thing. Can I raise this thing now, though? Please let me raise. No, this is still locked, too. It wasn't for this. Dang it, what the heck did my unlock did I get? That's a bummer. Does this have a V8? No, it's a V6 as well. I wonder what that V8 was for. Was it for this big boy? No, nope, that's all V6s as well. Can I raise the suspension on this thing? I can. So this raised suspension was for this, but I don't really wanna... I don't drive this truck very much. The thing gets stuck like crazy. I wonder what that V8, anybody know what that V8 was for? No power steering? <laughs> yeah, not in these old trucks for sure. Watch letting your truck idle while you ran out of gas. I almost did miss it. It was close, right man? It was definitely close. Uh, let's see. I don't think I have any things that take V8s, right? I need to get a freaking V6 5.0 for this thing. Um, what's my, uh, what's my Chevy down here? Can this thing take a V8? Oh, it's for this thing. Oh, this thing takes a big old ATT V8 5.2 custom. Dang. The fuel consumption goes way up power to rate ratio is mad we might we're definitely gonna 
That engine was for this bad boy. Nice. We can raise our suspension on this thing probably too. Yes. Jack this sucker up. There we go. What kind of big old tires we put on this thing now? Uh, we can put some big old 38s on it. Do I have any mud tires I've unlocked for this thing yet? Some 38. Look at that sucker, man. <laughs> I don't really like those tires, though. They look, I mean, they probably can get you through anything, though, right? They're pretty expensive as well. Look at this massive sucker now. Uh, so we put some big old 38 freaking tractor tires on this thing. Look at that thing. I think it would probably get through anything now, right? Yeah, let's do it. It's almost all our money, but uh, we're going to buy them. This thing could probably get through anything now. Nice. I do have the right gearbox. You have the snowrunner gearbox in that sucker. Nice. We might have to drive this thing a lot now. I wonder if this thing can go tow out a trailer that I have. It might. There's a trailer that I have stuck. We're going to go try to get that thing out. It's pretty close. All right, let's make it daylight again for you guys. So, uh, there we go. All right, this thing could probably get through a lot now. I got a trailer that's stuck over here. I'm going to try to winch onto the road. I won't be able to uh, tow it with this thing, I don't think, back to where it needs to go. This thing's got some speed now, man. I'm going so fast. It's crazy. This, this thing's got some power now, man. New engine. We got new engine, new tires. Jack this freaking Silverado up, man. Let's test it out real quick. This is a deep mud hole. Actually, around this corner is a mud hole. I've never been able to make it through on anything. I've always had to go around it. We're going to put it in full drive. Trying to mud through this sucker, right? <laughs> you need to pay attention to upgrades when you get it. There's no real way to tell them what you get. Yeah, I, I could. Uh, you can check vehicles uh, when you get them. I should have did that, right? I should have did that. You got an ad for this earlier today? It's a fun game. Let's see if we can get through this right here. This looks like a pretty deep mud pit. We might not be able to. We might get stuck. We might get stuck in here as well. Oh, I don't have it in all-wheel drive. There we go. See if we can... Do you guys think we can get through this? It's pretty freaking deep, man. It is pretty deep. Usually, usually I go around this. We're moving still. We're definitely moving. Thanks for dropping that link, Bruce. Oh, yeah. We're making it through it. It's going to be a little slow, but I wanted to test it out. This thing's lifted up. What, we got 38s on it now, right? Yeah, this. I'll watch the gas beater. I got to watch it for sure now. We are definitely a sucking gas in this thing. Getting through the mud for sure, man. What up, Miss Fist? Thanks for jumping on, man. I'll be on a great, great Saturday night. Oh, yeah, this thing's making it through no problem. We're going to be able to get this trailer out now. I tried to go get this trailer uh, um, early in the game, and I got stuck a lot with my big truck because this truck definitely wouldn't have made it. Oh, man, this is really deep right here. We got some exhaust smoking going on as well our exhaust is in the water we do have a we do have a snorkel on this thing though and just like look at you can see can you guys see my hands i mean just like real life man you got to wiggle this thing back and forth to make it through there look at that oh yeah we, we could have easily made it around faster but i want to see if i can make it through that because that was a freaking mud pit man uh oh all right, off we go. I kind of know where I'm going. Uh, so we're just going to cruise up this hill uh, around around to the right. Usually, usually these rocks cause a little bit of trouble too, but not anymore. We got a freaking lift kit and some 38s, man. Going to make it through everything. Yep, definitely keep those front tires moving. This game too, man, you keep momentum. It's just like real life, man, In the up in the... Up in the hills, in the mud. I mean, I've done my fair share of driving up in the forest, you know. Mud bogging. I'll have to drop a picture. I'll drop a picture of Discord of my my Bronco 2 that I had a few years back. All jacked up. 
It was a lot of fun. I gotta be careful not to wreck my engine, though. Usually I don't really care. Usually I just go blasting through everything, right? That was a definitely a lot of mud. Pretty sure these roads could be should be closed. Uh, there were a lot that were closed. We had to get them reopened. We had to uh, bring some supplies to a roadblock, rebuild some bridges, bring supplies to get uh, a power line lattice tower re-erected. Re All right, I gotta check a map now. I think it's where I need to go, right? Yeah, see, this is the missing tanker that is... It used to be over there. And I got it all the way to here with the truck that I had using the winch technique. Um, I need to try to get it... I mean, if I get it over near this road, I can come get it with my truck. We'll see how well this truck can pull stuff. Because this is a pretty big trailer. Um, but this thing's got a V8 in it now, so... If I can get some good traction, we can probably get over there and get it, right? Yeah, Misfits, it's 40 bucks in the U.S. right now. It's a new new game, so it's the $40 price tag right now. Sell the old parts to get good money. It's always a way to get it. I did see that you could sell your trucks as well. Like that one big uh, teal truck that I... Hang on, I need to... I need to turn my engine off real quick. That one big teal truck that I have in my garage... Um, I think it's worth like $40,000. I could sell it for like forty grand. You can push triangle to shoot the winch cable out like Spider-Man? The way you're looking? No, you can't, Mystic. Seriously? No way. I didn't know that. I'm going to have to give that a shot. That's hilarious. Usually I lock it on to where I want to go. Mystic says a four-wheeler is real in this game. Believe me. Had to bobtail your Bronco? Oh, you had a bobtail Bronco. Nice, dude. That's awesome, man. I had a Bronco, too. All jacked up. If I didn't have to sell it, that was the next thing I was going to do was bobtail it, man. They are they, they look pretty sweet like that. Wish you could do uh, upgrades like that in here. All right, let's go see if we can get to this trailer. Um, with this thing, I can probably just freaking cruise right over there. I forgot how I got there before. I think I winched myself over there. Yeah, this is a, uh, a bad, boggy area. Mm, we might have to stay on the road way over there. Hopefully we don't run out of gas trying to get over there and get this thing. This might not have been a very good idea. <laughs> this might not have been a very good idea. Also had a Datsun little truck with a custom four-wheel drive kit. Nice, man. All right, we're making it. There we go. We had a little bit of mud right there. Yeah, this is definitely a, a bad area. Um, I might try to go back and stay on the road. The road might be better than this boggy area, because there is technically a road here, but it, uh... We might, have to, we might run out of freaking gas. Can you upgrade your gas tanks in these things as well? Can I, like, put a big old gas tank in the back of this thing? It's a quick winch function. Alright, I'll have to give that a shot. Yeah, that trailer is, uh... I might have to wait until I can upgrade a big old truck. Who's played this game already? Have you guys gotten this trailer out of here already? I got back here with my big truck, but it doesn't have the... It doesn't have the mud bogging as this thing does. Yeah, we might not... This might not be... A good plan. I thought maybe this thing would be able to uh, get back in here and get this thing winched over to that road. I don't know who got this thing stuck back here, man, but it is... Uh, it's wedged. You don't know. It's, it's definitely a muck. It's a mucky muck, man, for sure, back here. We'll, we'll spend a little bit of time on this, but not too much. We'll go do some other deliveries that we can go do. That's where it was. I mean, I got it out of there a little bit. You know what I mean? I got it out a little bit. 
But other than that, it's pretty stuck, man. It's pretty stuck. We'll see what we can do to get this thing uh, moved a little bit. But we're not moving very well at all. You had a 4x4 Chevy Blazer with the removable roof. Nice, man. Nice. That's the trailer coin down there. It's definitely stuck in here for sure. Dual, ga dual gas tanks should be available in this game. If they're not, they definitely should be. You should be able to upgrade your gas tank for sure. Yeah, we are... Uh... Yeah, Brad, probably, man. Full. He says the removable roof. It, probably, it definitely was a full size then, I think. I don't think the, the smaller Blazer had a... Uh... A removable roof. That was an old school blazer, right? Nice big old K5 blazer, right? Those are nice. With 35s? Heck yeah. Alright, we're not doing too well. This is some mucky muck down here. We're almost out of gas. This is some... We need... What the heck do we need to get this truck out? We need like a big huge truck on like freaking 55 inch freaking monster tires or something, right? We need some freaking super swampers on here. <laughs> yeah, we're definitely not gonna get this thing moved at all. Definitely was a lost cause. Well, yeah, what do you guys think? This 84 Chevy Blazer, nice. Shoot that winch out, okay. You guys say just hit triangle? Oh, it does just blow it right out. But it just it shot it over there. I didn't really want to shoot it over there though. Right? We just stalled our engine. I gotta try to pull this uh truck out of here. Let's see, can I shoot that winch out over there? Alright, it pulls it over there. I mean, that that's pretty awesome. I did not, not know that worked. That's if you just want to do that, though. I use the winch quite a lot to get back into round two. I don't have a very long winch, though. Can I get off this way and kind of... Nope, see, it's just going to shoot it off that way. We might be able to get this trailer off that way. I don't know, though. It's pretty stuck in this mud, and we're almost out of gas now. We are almost out of gas. See, we gotta connect this winch to this thing. Come on, give me the, give me what I want. There we go. Come on, trailer. Come on, trailer. Come on, Chevy. Like a rock, man. Come on. Come on. We ain't moving this sucker. <laughs> We're inching it along. We're gonna run out of gas before we get anywhere. It's a lost cause, man. Super lost cause. Yeah, we ain't getting this done. I was a little excited that I got a lift on my truck. And now we're out here stuck in the mud. We ain't getting that truck out of there with this thing. It's too, too light. I need to find some other big upgraded truck. This ain't happening. Not happening at all. Let's go back to uh, the garage and go do a delivery. You know, this thing's an awesome truck, but it ain't going to do that. It definitely ain't going to do that at all. Arena Wars vehicle? So what, it's one of those help? Maybe. Uh, you can do a refill option and get fuel out of that tank. Yeah, that one there. But we ain't getting anywhere, man. We ain't getting anywhere to try and do with that truck. Pickle says, you Americans love trucks. We sure do, man. Like a truck like... If you have a truck like that here, you are either a construction worker or... Uh, Word you would not use in chin. <laughs> That's funny, man. All right, let's check our map and see what we got to do. Let's go do a delivery. That's one thing that's fun in this game. Um, let's see. I uh, have a stuck trailer, which we can do. Um, this right here. We gotta find this. We can probably get that. It's a cute inside trailer, which means it's. We gotta have a big truck for it. I've been down that road. We could easily go get that trailer and bring it back to the motel. We could do that no problem. We'll do that. I wanna rake myself up, so I need to do some jobs. Now, uh, let's take this bad boy out. Let's go, dude. Here we go. 
Nice. Check out this bad boy. Uh, actually, did, was I able to get new tires for this thing? These are okay right now. I call this guy Big Red. This is Big Red. He's my trusty uh, delivery truck. He's got a crane on him too because sometimes you uh, lose your load and have to go get it picked up. It's going to take us a little bit to get there, but we're on, a, we're on a mission now. I need the Fleet Star. Is that a big old truck to get that out of there? The Fleet Star? We'll get it at some point. We'll figure it out. I need the Mog Hauler. I need the Cat is what I need. I think I got to rank up to like level 12 or something to be able to buy the Cat, right? The big old Cat. That'll pull that sucker out of there. Because that thing is stuck in the mud. I got to shoot it in the full drive. This thing does have full drive. It's a nice freaking truck. I still haven't been able to upgrade tires on it yet, though. I'm not ranked up yet. I got to get ranked 6, and then we can buy new tires for this thing. So it still has highway tires on it. It can get stuck fairly easy, but, you know, it does it does, it does does fairly well. Big old red dog. That's what Clifford the big red dog. Clifford, there we go. Kilgore, I just named it. That's our new name for it. Clifford. Clifford the big red dog. That's our new name for this guy. We got Clifford. <laughs> Shout out to Kilgo for that one, man. That's a good name. Oh, man. I just plowed that tree. Can I pull this tree out of the way? I always hit that freaking tree, man. Let's try the winch thing. Now it's going to go over there. Can I just pull this freaking tree out of the dang way? I can't pull this tree out of the way. It's still stuck in the ground. Is it? Dang it, this tree is like, why is it stuck there? Why can't I pull that tree out of the way, right? I should be able to do that. Giving the trailer to the motel is a good one. Yeah, we're gonna go do that one real quick. I haven't done that one yet because I didn't, I haven't unlocked that upper area. I just went and explored that uh, the other night. I think last night a little bit after a man eater. So we'll go do that one and then we will go explore. We'll go get our, our, uh, our Chevy, and we'll go into the new area, and you guys can see what it looks like with a with a map you can't see, right? Your internet's trash. Seven hours left. Oh man, Brad, that sucks, man. Hopefully it speeds up for you, man. <laughs> Hopefully it speeds up for you. Definitely be fun to play later on tonight after I eat some after stream. All right, come on, buddy, get around this tree. Let's. Cruise on over where we're going, and not a plow into any trees as I read chat. The tree respawns at night. See what happens? I turn my head to read chat, and I turn for a split second too much, and this thing catches a rut and throws you right into a tree. <laughs> the Freightliner M916 is a good one to get for off-road. Okay, I might have to buy some a new, new truck. I've been kind of just using the ones I got for finding around the map, right? But if I could sell stuff and buy another good truck that's a good all-around truck, you know, it might be a good thing to do. Alright, I'll keep in touch with you guys, man. We'll definitely jump into a party later on or something and see where you guys are at for getting it downloaded. Be a lot of fun. Stuart dropping the log. I know, man. I plowed a tree. It's going to happen a lot. Especially reading chat. Wait till I get a freaking trailer on it. We gotta go pick up a trailer. Don't chat and drive. Well, if I don't chat and drive in this game, I'm gonna miss a lot of chat. That's why I'm kind of I'm I'm trying to go slow, and then and still hang out with you guys. All wheel drive burns gas too. I think it does, man. I usually keep it on until I get on like the these roads, right? But I'm gonna have to throw it back on because I gotta get through uh, this creek right here. We gotta get through the creek real quick. I don't know what happened to this town and why they've letting it go to uh, shambles too much, but it, uh... See, you can go get gas right there for free. We don't need it right now, though. On PC, the download is insanely fast. It all depends on your uh, internet there, man. It all depends on your internet. I mean, this game wasn't extremely fast for me to download because my internet sucks right now. But, uh... In a couple weeks... Let me tell you, I'm going to have some amazing, amazing uh, 
internet. Actually, my new my new modem just got here. I before I even move and set up internet, I bought a new modem. It's right here. The Netgear 3700 high speed cable modem, one gig modem. <laughs> it just got here today. Ready to hook that sucker up, man. You want your GTA character to dance on the back of Clifford? Like the resupply mission, right? Yeah, that'd be awesome. That would be awesome, man. Alright, we're off to go this way. We're gonna go get this truck, this trailer for these guys. Phil says, have I streamed GTA? Uh, if you... Oh, crap. Alright. If not, you should. You should host a uh, community car show or something like that. Phil, I have I have never streamed GTA. I haven't played GTA enough to be familiar with it enough to stream it, I think. We probably will in the future for sure, man. As far as community car show and stuff goes, I know a few other people that do that. I don't want to jump on their stuff, but we'll, we'll probably figure something out. We'll probably get on GTA, you know, over the summer at some point. We got a lot of games coming out that we're excited about, uh, but we'll probably we'll probably stream GTA at some point. I know we jump on uh, Pony Mac, all her GTA streams, so and she's got the community going on over there. Uh, so if you guys haven't joined that on PlayStation yet, definitely join the Pony Mac GTA community because we always jump on over there as well. I think I'm going the right way. It was just up this road, up north a little bit. I am on PS4 right now. This is PS4 version on a PS4 Pro. Uh, playing it on a 4K monitor, so it is full in 4K from the PlayStation. All right, I think I need to check my map when I get over this row. I think I need to. I think I, I, think I need to take a, a right right here. Right. Uh, oh, actually, it's right there. We passed it. That's what we need to get, right? Is that the is that the trailer we need to get? No, it's right there. Okay, let's mark that. Uh, oh, is it on that road? It's on that dirt road. I mean, we probably could go through the mud over there, but we'll just go, we'll go that dirt road right there. We need to go straight again. Uh, 100K internet and frizz bots, but at Call of Duty updates take at least a day. Yeah, it does a lot of do do with the servers as well. That is for sure. You can only download as fast as uh, what they're giving to you for. My biggest thing with my new internet is my uh, my upload speeds are gonna tenfold, ten times faster upload speeds on the new internet that I will have. That means that I could stream uh, even better quality, you guys. And dang it, and my uh, videos uploads will won't take as long for when I upload stuff to YouTube. What's my my opinion for Cyberpunk 2077? I'm excited for it. We'll be streaming it. I'm excited for that game. It's going to be a lot of fun. Hopefully by the time that game comes out, we'll probably already exhausted a lot of uh, our Ghost of Tsushima content because we're going to be streaming that quite a lot as well. You stream GTA 5 and Red Dead Online on Twitch a bit? Nothing like Asa's content. Fan base though. It takes a while, man. It definitely takes a while to check it out. Kilgore, you're on the Discord, right? Make sure you're dropping uh, stuff in the in the channel there for promotion stuff, all right? Oh, crap. So I can check it out next time you're on. Oh, we might get stuck here. Now we made it. I almost messed up. I almost messed that one up. Not paying attention, right? I, I gotta kind of slow down a little bit so we can get out to this trailer here. Selection of trucks from Russia are predominantly off-road, I imagine. <laughs> and they're probably all big uh, uh, box nose trucks, right? I imagine. There's a big old rock right here or something. Yeah. We look at high centered. That wouldn't have been good. All right, let's take it kind of slow. Get ourselves up around this corner, I think. I gotta pay attention real quick. I'll jump back on chat when we get up this trailer. I gotta get up around this corner here. Come on, buddy. 
Oh yeah, we got it. I gotta pull the trailer down that corner right there. That's gonna be so much fun. Right? Where's this trailer at? Right there? You gotta be kidding me. You gotta be kidding me, man. That's ridiculous. One thing in this game, too, you gotta make sure you do is uh, before you shift and reverse start backing up, turn your wheel. Because it's a big wheel, right? You can't attach this trailer. Are you kidding me? Why? Why can I not attach this pinnacle pitch to that pinnacle connector right there? Why can I attach this trailer to this? Uh, you don't need a 100k download if you aren't any updates on Red Dead. That's for sure, man. You can't wait for it, Liv? Me either, man. I'm, I'm pretty excited for it. Phil's got three GTA 5 mod accounts. The tryhard, the sniper player. <laughs> that's funny, man. You think that's why? Because the the bed is back too far? I, I haul trailers, though. I've had trailers on this truck. I, I, do big, I do big runs with this thing. That sucks. That, that's not good. Well, you live and you learn, right? You live and you learn. That's a bummer. We might have to take our, uh, our, uh, thing off there. Well, let's, uh, do it the old-fashioned way. How about that? You think that'll hold? <laughs> you guys can't quite see it. Look at that. Now, it's going to be kind of tricky going around that corner like this, but uh, let's give it a shot. That's what this game's about. Having fun and uh, screwing off. Let's go for it. Let's do it. Here we go. Clifford's got it, man. Now, we don't have any brakes for this thing now. We, we might have... We should have went the other way. This corner is going to be fun. This corner is going to be fun. I'm going to shift it into low. So we go really slow through here. I'm going to lock the dip as well. So we can just creep around this corner real quick. Nice and slow. <laughs> here we go, guys. What do you guys think? Think we can make it? So we can get this thing delivered. If we can get around this corner, we'll be okay. This is where it's gonna be hard where this thing starts rolling towards us. See, there it goes. Plow! Just plowed into us. I think shifting it into low did it. We still got it. We still got it. Kilgore! Come on, man. Give me some credit, man. <laughs> That's all I thought. That is not gonna work. <laughs> they can do anything in this game. <laughs> We got a winch, man. We can do anything. We're making it. Get her done. One way or the other, we're getting this trailer to the motel, man. <laughs> guys got another heist going on. Good luck with that. All right, we just got to creep up this hill now. We'll make it. Don't worry. We're getting this trailer to its destination. Clifford is going to get it done, man. <laughs> no effing way, he says. No effing way. We're going to make it, man. We're just going to keep it in low until we get up out of this spot here. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. That's not good. There's a big rock right here. We're in trouble. We're in trouble, guys. We made it. We got it. Don't worry. All right, we got to take this corner a little wide so we don't dump our trailer in that because we don't have control over it. Hopefully it turns good and rolls right into us. I can't see it. Oh, yeah, we got it. Oh, yeah. We got it. Ain't no problem. Ain't no problem. 
Uh oh. Maybe I should have shifted a low gear again. The other truck can equip the crane bed and trailer though. Which other truck? Yeah, I'm not sure if that was the problem or not. I, I have towed stuff on this before with the crane on it. So I don't know. That's kind of weird. I'll have to test that out. I have a trailer just like this at my garage. So I can go test it out and see if it'll connect. We can take the... Here, Mystic, do you know, man? Uh, if I take this crane off, since I've already purchased it, can I just re-equip re it? And not have to buy it again? I think you can, right? You would, you would think so. One way or the other, this thing's getting to the motel, man. Uh, let's see. Mystic says you can transport the trailer there that way, but the game won't let you complete it until you hook it up. You sure, man? I think I have before. I think I've done the same thing before. But uh, we'll give it a shot. We'll at least get it over there. We'll give it a shot. Coma Cat believes in me. Pickle says I see a million possibilities on how this is going to go. Well, we got out of the hard part, right? We, we're, we're, we should be good. I think we're going good as long as we don't run out of gas. <laughs> as long as we don't run out of fuel, we should be all right. Because we're on the home stretch now. We got it up and out of there. As long as I don't put this thing in a ditch. We should be good. We're going to keep it in all-wheel all drive, though, just so we have some good control with this trailer on. Look at the trailer. Oh, Jesus. Oh, we almost rolled it. Pull! Oh, my gosh. We almost rolled the trailer. I forgot I, I didn't have control of the trailer at all. It wasn't turning. The trailer didn't turn until the last second. <laughs> you can't hook a trailer to a truck with a crane installed. Okay, so that's the problem right now. We'll at least get this thing over to the motel, and then we will uh, go take care of that issue if it doesn't work for us. Clifford is doing an amazing job. Clifford is an awesome truck, man. Look at that. We got it. We're good to go. He's a beast. That was a close one, right, Kilgore? We almost... I almost dumped it, man. I almost dumped it. The trailer is a. Uh, the trailer's got a mind of its own right now. Look at it. Look at it. It's ro it's, that's awesome. It's just flowing everywhere. <laughs> a little bit of fish tailing with the trailer. All right. Come on. Downshift. Let's go. Come on, Clifford. I wish I could switch this thing to a manual. It's not automatic. I wish I could downshift quicker. It takes a little bit of. a little bit of time. You can hook a trailer with the crane in the bed, but some trucks you can't. Yeah, this one does stick out. That might be the problem, right? I should do some testing with trailers at my garage when I equip trucks with different stuff before I go cruising across the entire uh, area. Now, luckily, there's no cops in this game because I don't think this is a legal safety hookup. Now, I mean, we almost lost it. Luckily, this trailer is empty. If this trailer had stuff in it, it probably would have been all over the dang place, right? Uh, what, how's the stream look? I was going to turn it to daylight real quick. Let's do that real quick. There we go. You can also sell those motors and items that you purchase for upgrades. Really? You could sell all that stuff as well? All right. See, I knew streaming this, I'd learn some stuff because everyone plays it and hangs out. Here's where we're going to the motel right here. All right, so everyone says this isn't going to work. I'm going to stop right here. Bam! Uh, I do need to... I think I already have it uh, set, right? Uh, where do we need to drop this thing off to? Over there. We got to drop it off over there. Ah, okay. This is the wrong spot. It's on the other side of that or something? Do I need to, like... Show task. Except. 
Okay, now did it show up over there, maybe? Yeah, now it's over there. That's where we have to drop this thing off at. Oh, jeez. I lost, I lost my trailer, Cowpoke. That's okay, though. We'll get it hooked back up. Stop. Come here, buddy. Come on. It's like my little dog, right? Clifford's got his little dog now. Oh my gosh, we're never gonna make... Oh, geez, sorry. Sorry. I just plowed that car. All right, let's see if it works. Music says it's not going to. Hey, see if it doesn't work, man. Look at that. I've, I'm pretty sure I've done it before. I think I ran into this issue and didn't know why I couldn't connect something. Tilt that sucker right over there. Look at that. <laughs> Wouldn't worry about the cops. They're pretty busy at the moment. Yeah, they are. Come on, cat. We know that, man. Download finished. Rock on, man. That's awesome. Right now, an MK2 oppressor comes down and blows up your hull. You know it, right? Uh, you can get an, an auto, auto... Come on. You didn't need to make me say that word. Autonomous winch as soon as you can. Seriously save you. That's the one that works when the truck's off, right? Yeah, I think you gotta be ranked up pretty high for that. I do think you have to be ranked up pretty high for that. Alright, let's go back to the garage. Whoops, that's the wrong button. Alright, so you guys are saying I should take off the crane off this thing so I can haul trailers. Uh, what do we got to do, though? Um, missing machinery. This guy, this place needs drilling spare parts. Find and deliver to the factory. Um, well, where are the spare parts at, though? Why isn't it showing up for me? Where are the spare parts at? We need four of them? That's a lot. Usually it shows you where they are. Drilling spare parts. Are they lost somewhere? It does say missing machinery. A shipment of important machinery to a local factory was interrupted by an unfortunate incident with the previous driver. Responsibility is all yours now. I'd take a crane if I were you. Um, where are they though? Usually they show up. Usually I could see where they are. I don't see anything on the map though that's showing me there's missing machinery anywhere. Maybe they're in a different... Oh. That says... No. Misty Machinery. Where's the actual machinery at, though? Huh. Maybe it's in a place I over here haven't discovered yet. No worries, though. No worries. You can see them when you accept the mission. Well, I thought I have accepted it. Do I have to... Do I have to go accept this over here? I thought they only showed up... For me when I actually accepted it. This thing was uh, right here, right? I'm pretty sure that's that's it right there. So I have to go here to accept it. That's why you need the crane. Yeah, I used I used my crane truck to do a mission like this before already. Um, there was some stuff missing like that, but there's four of them. I'm gonna need the crane truck and a trailer to get all four of them. You went through all your trucks and downsized in with a bunch of upgrades and 30,000. Nice. Game's got a nice money system. No loss on sales. That's cool. It should be between your garage and the factory. Phil, you're jumping off, man, to go to bed. Have a good one, man. Have a good one. Thanks for jumping on. All right, let's see what else we got. Uh, Riverside Repair. This guy needs me to bring stuff to him. Delivered to the boatman house. That's going to be a long delivery. Because I cannot go that way. The only way to get from over there is to go all the way down this road. And then back up. Um, he needs wood planks, which are right there. Uh, first thing he needs is service parts. So we can do that. We're going to do this delivery for this guy. Um, is there a trailer anywhere near over here? No. Um... So we need to go pick up the boat parts from the factory. We can do it. Start tracking that. All right. So we got to go to the factory real quick. And pick that stuff up. 
Um, so you're saying to get rid of my crane, possibly, huh? Huh. I'm gonna go try something real quick. Can I not pick up any of these trailers over here with this? Let's go see. I thought I connect. I thought I drove Clifford with the crane on in one of these trailers just the other day. Whoops. Way too hard of a turn. Let's see if we can connect this trailer up. Back up, please. Nice and easy. Yeah, see, look, that one connects. I wonder why that one won't connect. I wonder why the, that big trailer wouldn't connect. They're the same connection. It's a pinnacle hitch. I have that on my truck. It's a pinnacle hitch. That's weird, right? Wouldn't you guys say that's weird? That's crazy. Physic says the thing you love about uh, no griefing. For sure, man. Jedi, how's it going, man? This is a nice rig. Got that right. You guys got a heist going on? I need to remember to add a a command to my stream deck so I can just hit that button and, and join the heist with you guys. There we go. Maybe it is a mission trailer then. That's weird. Alright, but we got a trailer. We can do this whole uh, delivery now. I don't really need the trailer yet, but we're gonna we're gonna tow it with us. Maybe this isn't a good idea. We gotta, we gotta get to this mud pit over here. And haul in this trailer. We might just drop this trailer and ditch it. <laughs> Alright, we need full wheel drive. We gotta go up to the factory. It's gonna be a little bit of a drive, cowpoke. Hold tight with me, man. Jai says this game is awesome. Glad you're having glad you're a fan. I'm I love this game, man. I've been having lots of fun with it. Maybe you have park bit too far away? It's it said I it said I couldn't connect a trailer to this truck. It was kinda weird. I don't know, man. I don't know. All right, we might. This trailer might be too heavy. It's a heavy trailer. I might have to drop this trailer. This uh, mud pit is hard to get through, just with a truck by itself. I gotta hug this foam pole right here, and then these rocks. And then go up in the grass right there. It's the only way to get this truck through this mud right here. Oh, we're making it. We're making it. We're gonna get it. Oh, yeah. Onward, Clifford. Over the tree. Stay close to this edge right here. Uh oh. Oh, jeez, don't tell me the freaking trailer stuck on a freaking log. Did you guys see that? The trailer's stuck on a freaking log. Oh, there, the log broke. We're okay. We're okay. You guys shouldn't have took the trailer on this portion of the... the run. I don't need it until I was going to go into town later on. But, you know, let's go for it. We got it. We got it. That's the hardest part right there. Use a crane with a low saddle and a trailer if you have multiple items to pick up. One thing I've noticed too, I might take the crane off this thing because one thing I've noticed as well is I think uh, the crane adds a lot of weight to your truck, right? Which made it so this thing seemed to have a lot less power. Yeah, we're stuck. Nope. That tree. Come on, little tree. Come on, give me a little bit of... I just need a little bit of... Come on. Nope. <laughs> That's not good. That's not good. I just need to witch myself up out of this rut real quick. There we go. See, sometimes a little bit of winch works great, right? 
Just wiggle yourself about the rut a little bit. It also raises the center of gravity, makes you more tippy. Yeah, I probably should have took it off. This is kind of a muddy spot. I didn't remember this being so muddy up this way. Maybe I should have took the hard right and went up the hill. We got it going on, though. We're going good. Hope all is well, Austin. Maggie, how's it going, man? Wish we had that online. I have an update. Me too, man. Me too. You can use kitty litter if you get stuck in the mud. I have a lot of that as well. Oh, Charlie, man. Brad, that sucks, man. That sucks. I love the winch in this game. You can hook it to the front of your truck, to the back of your truck. I mean, I've used the winch quite a lot to inch myself out of places for sure. Alright, we made it. We're good to go. Let's get this delivery. Now, there is another spot up this way, if I remember right, that I could go around. I didn't remember that being so bad, though. Usually, I take kind of a shortcut up and over the mountain, but there's a lot of rocks up there, and this truck barely makes it up and over them. No way I would have made it with this trailer. No way at all, man. You can't load items on a trailer that is not actively attached. That is true, Mystic. That is true. This one, I'm, I'm actively attached now, though. If I if I was winching this thing, I wouldn't be able to do it. Damn, the tray in your pickup is sideways. The tray in your pickup is sideways. Uh, I won't pay attention. I really want to get to level six. I'm almost there, and then I can buy some bigger, some better tires for this thing. It might help a little bit. The thing still has highway tires on it. All right, this is where I gotta go around this mud pit. We definitely ain't going through that. We gotta go off this way, which still isn't the greatest, but it's the way we gotta go. Definitely, where we gotta go. I'm hauling like a boss. Wait till we get a freaking load on this sucker, man. And we're going to go up and over the mountain on the way back. We ain't going back this way. That's what's fun about this game, man. You do... Oh, I almost got high-centered. You do some pretty fun stuff. Some pretty cool deliveries. And you just, you just go mobbing through stuff, man. Through the mud. Just hauling. Sorry, little tree. My bad, man. Fuga! Thanks for hitting that subscribe button. Much appreciated. You rolled it a few times already? You've already rolled it a few times? Gotta slow down, man. <laughs> Gotta slow down. I think I've only rolled my Chevy uh, once. And I was goofing off. What the? Cat just attacked my foot. All right, up up this ridge a little bit, and then to the right is where we're going. That's the factory. And then we're gonna go up over the mountain to get to the other side of the ridge to make it quicker to get down there. Oh, that's kind of muddy. Oh, I should have stayed hard left. Don't want to drive straight through that. One wheel's okay in there. We don't want both those wheels in there. We gotta stay. We gotta keep our. We gotta keep some traction, right? We definitely gotta keep some traction. Oh, that we sucked right in there, man. I should have tried a smaller trailer. There's a little smaller trailer. I mean, it doesn't have sides. And I don't think it's a freaking dually. It probably has a lot less weight. Clifford still only got a big old V6 in him. I wish I could have dropped that big old V8 in him. Oh no, this isn't where we gotta go to the factory. That's up and around the corner, isn't it? Awesome. Uh, I, gotta check my map. I gotta check my map, man. Stuart making it rain. Rock on, man. Oh, I was going to the warehouse. Where do we have to go? We gotta go all the way up that way. Alright, we gotta. I went the wrong way. That's okay, though. I should have turned up that way and went all the way over here to the gas station and went down the main highway. 
we're gonna have to go uh, right here and go up and over because I can't go that way we know, we know it's over there freaking mud lots and lots of mud like a lot I thought I was going over here what is this place called I don't remember now we gotta go to the dang factory man We're gonna have to pick us. We're gonna have to get some gas on the way back. There's a gas station over there, though. I know there's. A, I might drop this freaking trailer and say screw it. Because where I'm going, I'm only getting two things. I don't need the trailer right now. But then it's stuck here. Oh man, we gotta stay uh, hard left in this transition here. I think there's some rocks on this road as well. Stay out of that mud, man. Come on, Clifford. Come on, buddy. Get it going. Pull this trail up that hill. Oh, yeah. Up we go. Freeping along, but we're making it. Like I said, people are asking how long this game takes. You know, it's, I mean, it's a slow playing game. But if you like out being outdoors and just driving through terrain like this, mud and you know. I mean, it is slow, but it's realistically slow, right? That's the thing. And I'm a, a dummy who freaking trying to pull an empty trailer up this hill. <laughs> a few of them will. Definitely a few of them. I, I, have, a, I have a few sites that I have to do this on. Uh, I do live in the Seattle metro like area so uh, a lot of my most of my sites are like suburby type stuff but I do have a couple of mountaintop sites come on downshift and get this thing over the hill the thing that really sucks is when you're on call and at night something goes down on top of a mountain and you've never been there before and you gotta read directions in the dark and get up a mountain Never great. Stuart, have a good one, man. Thanks for jumping on. Thanks for making it rain. Getting everybody some stash points, man. Have a good night. All right, I got to pay attention to this because this is a bad spot. I've gotten stuck here quite a lot. Especially with a trailer. It's not going to be good. I think I'm going to stay hard left, possibly. Not hit that rock. I think that was a good spot. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Don't let the trailer hit it. I think we're good. Come on, trailer. We're, we made it. I've been stuck there a few times. I don't think I got stuck there in this truck, though. I think the first mission I did to the factory, I had to drive a uh, semi-truck trailer to it. So I threw a, you know, a fifth wheel hitch, you know, on the back of one of my big trucks. And it was only two-wheel drive. And it was very... Uh, nerve-wracking pulling this big huge tanker down these roads right yeah most of the game is go please go 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 come on come on come on we can make it that's how it goes right <laughs> we're moving we're moving inch by inch we can get it <laughs> uh through private property will uh i mean there's I do have a lot of uh, sites that are on private property. We have landlord easement agreements with them, you know. Um, but we have a lot of sites, mountain sites, that are in, like, uh, um, I guess it's kind of private property, you know, but it's through, like, forest department private property, right? Like land land management companies. I guess is what you call them. That used to be a roadblock right there I had to deliver stuff to, to open it up. All right, we're going to try to get this delivery done. It's going to take a little while. We're going to be doing this for probably like, you know, probably 20 minutes. If I don't crash into anything. No, maybe not that long. We'll see. If I can keep the dang truck on the road. Luckily, I've, uh, I, luckily I've driven this route a few times, so I kind of know where I'm going. 
You survey places like this, had to go in four wheels? For sure, man. I bet. You can add hours to this game by one mess up. And Mystic, if you see the thumbnail, that's right out of town. And I rolled this truck with a trailer um, with four goods on it. So I had to go back and get another truck to come over, drive the other truck to where I was at, flip the truck back over. That's the first time I put a crane on a truck. I put a crane on the other truck. I flipped th this truck back over and then had to get all my goods back on the, the truck and trailer. It was crazy, man. Definitely was crazy. It was a lot of fun, though. It was a bummer I rolled it, but it, it made more gameplay, right? It made me something else to do. Cattails and gooseness in the mud. I've seen some animals as well. I've seen a, a deer and some foxes pop up in the distance, but they disappear. I'm gonna check my map. Am I in the right spot? Yeah. They're kind of like ambient, ambient animals in the background, you know. Yeah, one, 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 catastrophic misgauge ga on a turn, like almost that right there. And uh, you got some explaining to do. <laughs> Right, at least we're going uphill, so once we get this thing loaded, it should be pretty easy to get back downhill. And uh, we're already on the right side of the ridge, so it should be a pretty easy drive up into town. When we get into town, the wood planks are at the lumber yard, which are really close. Just in town, we'll swing down and grab those, and then we'll go right out of town and make the delivery to the boathouse. Shouldn't be too bad. Shouldn't be too bad at all. You really gotta time your turns. I mean, this thing, if you... It takes a little bit to turn, right? You gotta start your turn before and end it before you want to end it. Or you're uh, gonna be running to the guardrail. Gotta make it on a half tank of gas. Uh, there's a uh, there's a gas station we're gonna be passing on the way back. We, we should be able to make it back to the gas station and we'll fill back up. After we after we make this pickup right here, we should be good. Washington State is the largest acreage of state-owned land in the continuous Guilford Pickup Pick Pinchot of Forest as immersed wildlife. There is quite a lot, Mystic, for sure, man. Cattails equal bad time. All right, we're making it up here to get our service parts. Uh, the problem is, I'm going to be terrible at backing the thing up. The, uh, backing these trailers up are terrible because they're on a pivot, right? Oh, there was already a trailer here. I didn't. I totally forgot about that. We're going to take it wide. I could just drove here, pick this stuff up, and then... Uh, do I have to activate this right here? Oh, they already did. Is this the... Yeah, that's that one. We're going to try to get it turned around here. Right, we need service parts, right? Yes, we need two service parts. Boosh, boosh. There we go. I could have just picked the trailer up there. We probably could have been here an hour ago. <laughs> we could have been here an hour ago, man. It's all public land, but it's leased by companies. Yeah, I almost ran into that freaking telephone pole. I deal a lot with the uh, uh, Hancock Forest Company. They own quite a lot of land up in the area that I have to go to around this area. All right, we're cruising now. We got half our load. We got two service parts. Now we just gotta get wood planks, which are the lumber yard near town. If we don't roll this thing. And yes, we're gonna get gas here in a few seconds. Uh, maybe like two minutes. Just gotta remember which way to go. Yeah, warehouse. Uh, brakes. 
Yeah, this is the way I'm supposed to be going. This is where we're supposed to be going. I didn't quite remember the sharp turn here on the way up, but it was a sharp turn, wasn't it? A sense of accomplishment, accomplishment when you get done. Three hours last night for one delivery. For sure, man. I bet. That's why this game is kind of slow, but definitely a lot of fun. Is it getting dark? Let me know if the stream ever gets too dark for you guys. I can always make it daylight again. It looks like it's okay, though. Does it look too bad? And we should have a hard... Hard right up a hill. We're almost at the gas station now. See, look, it's right there. It says gas this way. <laughs> Turn the lights on. Teen eyes, teen eyes glowing in my headlights driving through the forest at night. Teen eyes? I mean, I've definitely had lots of eyes glowing in the in my headlights as well. I've actually gotten drove six hours to get to a mountaintop site in the middle of nowhere got there and the gate combination didn't work to get through a gate I called the guy that actually owned the site because I was on call and I said hey this gate won't open I, I can see the site's only about half a mile away should I walk to it and he said no not unless you have bear spray with you or a gun <laughs> I said okay man sounds good <laughs> Not going to do it. You like the dark in this game? It's the best. If you know the map, it's good. You can plow into stuff a lot, though. All right, we got to get up this hill. We're climbing. I like all the great camera views you can do as well. You have full control of all that stuff, right? You can always see where you're going. Swinging around. Swinging around town. Nice. That wasn't too bad. We're going to make it out of the gas station. Put it in park. I'm going to drink some water real quick. Gas station should be around this corner and a couple more corners, I think. But we're almost there. Not too shabby. Yep, around this corner. Uh, oh yeah, the gas station on the other side of the bridge. That's right. I gotta cross the bridge up here. I'm watching my gas gauge now. Ooh, we're doing okay though. I think we lost a lot of gas going through the, the mountains in the mud. I should take it out of four-wheel drive. We don't need it right here. I think we have... I think we have pavement the rest of the way. Uh, maybe not. Looks a lot like Days Gone. I mean, Days Gone is uh, based on the Pacific Northwest, based on Oregon. I think I screwed myself. There's a big old rock right there. I wasn't paying attention. Ha! <laughs> We ourselves back on the road. The trailer's stuck on a freaking rock. We might be stuck on the big old rock. Oh my gosh. Uh, no, I don't want to do that. I want to uh, winch from the middle. Get off this freaking rock. There's the rock. Jeez. That was crazy, man. Full care of control. Till you need it. Uh, you guys know how to do... Hey, that's one thing I don't know how to do. How do you go into, like, in the cab view? Mystic, do you know how to go in the cab view? Like, can I drive, like, straight up first person in this game? I think you can. I've seen some gameplay of someone on PC doing it. But I can't figure it out on controller. 
Because the, the left stick is how you do the view, but you can only go, I can't go like straight into first person. Press R3. <laughs> okay, we're gonna try to get to the gas station. Driving this way, nice. Rock on Mater, thanks man. See if we can do this. I have never played this view yet, so it's not gonna be great. Actually, I kind of like this view. It's not too bad. I didn't get stuck, Will. We're good, man. We might run off the road in third in first person here, though. I like this view, man. This is awesome. I was wondering how to do it. Oh, we almost ran off the road there. Oh, the texture of the game. Yeah, it does look a lot like that, right, Will? The graphics are pretty good. I was I was pleasantly surprised. All right, here's our gas station. I'm really liking this view, actually. All right, there we go. All gassed up. Time for a smoke. Check our brakes, right? Time for a walk around, safety check. Uh, yeah, that's right. I can't see the rocks now, right? I can't see much of anything. This does keep you from oversteering, man. I just felt that, right? I just felt that, actually. What are you doing? The kitties are over here playing in a box. Alright, we'll get back to daylight. We'll go get these wood planes and get this thing delivered. Ah... Uh, some more gas get all filled up get back to daylight there we go wish I had a partner man all right here we are let's do it we're off here we go on our new adventure in first person. Actually, I really like the steering in first person. This is gonna be a bumpy ride. Ooh, engine damage. Nice. My problem is I can't quite see what's coming up. But the steering, that was actually pretty good steering right there. Come on, buddy. Drive. Whoops. My bad. <laughs> Road closed. Road closed. Not closed anymore. Man, I fixed it. Turn on the radio. We probably don't get very good stations out here, I imagine. Apparently, you got a case of the Australian internet today. <laughs> oh, man. That sucks, man. Four years to download 15 gigs. <laughs> Bruce, are you done too? You say you're done. You you say I done yet? LOL. Did I miss the kitties, Will? I didn't hear it, man. Did it pop up? Why is? Oh, it's not. It's just kitty, man. That's why I didn't hear it. It was. It wasn't a. Uh, it's just kitty. I think. Where's my commands at? I think it's just kitty, right? Uh, yeah, it's just kitty. You guys want to see the kitties? We'll get them here in a second. They're playing with a box right now. I'm really liking first person though, everybody. It's fantastic. It's a Y, man. It's a Y. <laughs> it's kitty with a Y, Will. <laughs> Uh, I gotta turn here. Lumberyard, this way. There's the sound. Alright. Let's uh, get out of first person. 
Oh, so this gives you like trailer view. All right. Handbrake on. Engine off. Who wants to see kitties? Kitties. There they are. There's the kitties. See? They're all awake. Saying hi. You guys saying hi? Huh? Who are you looking at? Hey, you. Wake up. We got kitties. Yeah, they are. They're down here playing with the box. They're getting a little adventurous lately. Running around, getting in the closet, hanging out, right? Yeah. All right. I'll get let you guys hang out with your box. There we go. Keys on point. Break off. Engine start. And we're off. Making our way downtown to the lumber yard. <laughs> Little kitty truckers. Oh crap, I wasn't paying attention. I'm not on the road. There we are. We got it. There's gonna be a uh, creek crossing right here. We're just gonna full send it. Here we go, full send. Oh yeah, that that creek cross is not too bad. That one's actually pretty easy. If I remember right, this is, no, it's bumpy on that other end of the lumber yard. We just gotta keep full speed up. We gotta keep our speed going. I wish this cab had a bigger window. We'll get our way down here and pick up some, uh, what do they call it? Wood, wood, wooden planks. Yeah, there's the lumber yard. We made it. This is kind of where you start in the game as well. I probably should have turned right there and went around that way. So I can come out over here. This is the way we want to go. Turn in here. This is gonna be pretty muddy. There we go. Cargo management. Wooden planks on the trailer. We need two of them. There we go. If we check it out. Look at that. That's a freaking load right there. That's a load. Let me tell you. Uh, you can see what's going on with the you. Well, I can't see, right? I can't see what's going on with the trailer. It's back there, though. <laughs> it's back there. They are getting bigger every day. They're getting big now. Running around like crazy. Be funny if there was a spilled bottle of uppers on the dashboard and a meth pipe. Real trucker life. <laughs> it would be funny, man. All right. Let's see. Uh, can I just go back out around that way? Yeah. And we're off. We're all going to drive. Oh man, we got a load now. We've got a load, cowpoke. I can feel it in this truck trying to get going. We don't have very far to make this delivery though. We just got to get around the lumber yard now. We got to do a full circle. And up into town. And uh, right out of town was the boat place, right? We got, what's this guy need all this stuff to? Must be making a new boat or something out of it? How do you feel, how do you feel? Uh, if you, there's a couple ways, Brad. Oh, how do you duel? Uh, there you go, you got it. <laughs> he's like, he's stuck, Bruce is stuck? Oh man. Oh yeah. We're gonna crawl up this hill. Not too bad. Nice and easy. Let's take a look. Oh yeah, we got a big load going. Big old load. I've come down this hill, full send. Just nose diving into these ruts, man. Straight, just blowing my engine up. That's a lot of stuff right there. This isn't even max weight. You can have like, the metal is heavy. When you got metal in these things, like the metal planks you gotta pick up, they are heavy, man. This is a big old load right here. Big old load. 
Robert, how's it going, man? Says, I love you, bro. Good night. It's 3.24 a.m. Well, have a good one, man. Thanks for jumping on. Much appreciated. Will says, my dad was a trucker in the 80s. Had a briefcase with his seed and stem. That's nice, man. Uh, family back history, too. My my uh, family was a lot, lived out in the country quite a lot. Like, I went to uh, grade school, first, second, and third, and fourth grade in a two-room schoolhouse. First first room was first through third grade, one teacher. And the second room was fourth, fifth, and sixth, second teacher and principal. There was only one other person that worked there, the lunch lady. And she was a librarian. Uh, we were they did lots of logging out there. My dad had had uh, his own log truck with a self loader on it. So I did I rode around in big trucks and log trucks quite a lot. He actually rolled it one time down a freaking cliff. I sh I need to turn there. Dang it. Was not fun at all. One good thing about these trailers, if you go straight, you get back up pretty easily. Where was the school? Will says it was in Oregon. I lived out in the middle of Oregon, like uh, uh, on the west west side of Oregon, near the near the the coastal range of the mountains. Not quite in to the mountains. Where is it at Gettysburg? It was a little tiny logging town. The only thing in the actual town was uh, a lo uh, a lumber mill, and a and outside of town was a schoolhouse, a church, and a little tiny country store. That was it, man. I lived there for first through fourth grade. My, uh, when I was in first grade, I think first, let's see, second grade, I think we moved. So first grade, the house I lived in, there was only one school bus as well. So it took me 40 minutes to get home on the school bus because I was the last stop. And then I had to I, I love telling the story, you know, because it's the cliche of a dad story, right? I had to walk uphill in the rain, like two miles to get home after I got dropped off from school. <laughs> right, I think that's where I got to go, right out here, I think. I should probably stop and check. Let's see, where's this guy at? Uh, Riverside Repair, that's what I had to do? Yeah. Oh, it's way over there. That's where we have to take the stuff to. Okay. Um, I thought it was the boathouse was right here. Uh, maybe I should have went out and around that way. Because I might... That might be a kind of a stuck spot right there. Yeah, I probably should go the other way. I think this is kind of mud right there. But it's a straight shot. We'll give it a shot. We'll see if we can make it over here. The Goonies, more like the Boonies, right? The Goonies is in Astoria, Oregon. That's at the very northwestern tip of Oregon is where the Goonies is at. I was a more centralized Willamette Valley area. I lived in, I was born and lived in Salem, the capital, a lot. But uh, this time was kind of west of the capital. Never lived near Portland, though. Screw that. More out in the the hick 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 town, you know. Oh man, we gonna, are we gonna make it through this? Oh yeah, we should be all right. I think so. Let's go back into first person. There we go. We just sank. We might have screwed ourselves, Calpo. Yeah, we'd be stuck. Not good. <laughs> we're moving. We're moving. Yeah, I think we're going a long way. I think we're going a long way. If we can get this thing backed out of here without jackknifing this trailer. Unfortunately, it's a freaking pivot trailer, so I need to get the turn that way. Turn that way. Oh, we're going to jackknife it. How long is this road? Dang it, we're almost out of there. 
I hate pivot trailers. They never do what you want them to do. <laughs> We're gonna log it up, back it up this trailer now. There we go. There it's a little straighter. We got it. Don't worry. We get jackknifed a little bit. I'm going back this way. Stay out of the mud. Okay, we made it. We almost got totally stuck. And look over there. There's nothing for us to hook onto. No big trees or anything to pull us out of that. We would have been, we would have had to go get another truck, man. Grab the winds from the back of the trailer and turn it the way uh, you want. Yeah, you could do that. Could you grab? I didn't. Yeah, it's, it's right. But, I mean, I don't want to toot my own horn, but you definitely know how to back up a trailer. Pretty dang good. I do it quite a lot for work, and uh, I'm pretty dang efficient at it, but a pivot trailer sucks. There's no doubt about it that a pivot trailer sucks. <laughs> Have a good one, Will. Thanks for jumping on, man. Hey, Gilboss. How's it going, man? Yeah, way too heavy. Um, I gotta check where this road is at. Right here. Let's make, uh... Let's make ourselves a little bit of a... We just want to go there and then up this road. It's gonna be windy, but we're gonna be okay. And then right to there. We'll be okay. We'll make it, man. Uh, Will, did you say, or did Jedi leave? Who's who's leaving, man? What's going on? Have a good rest of the stream, us. Jedi, have a good one, man. There it is. Thanks for jumping on. Will's still in. All right. Thanks for hanging out, man. Have a good Saturday. All right, we're turning in here, going this way. Hopefully this way isn't too bad. Hopefully this way is not as bad. Alright, we gotta get... Whoops, wrong button. This kind of gives you a good view of right in front of you, which is good. So I can watch where I'm going here. Um, am I on the road? No. This road, I am on the road. Okay. Oh my gosh, this is, uh... This is going to be a fantastic delivery when we get it done. This row was not made for this kind of action either. But we're making it. We're going to get it, guys. Foggy, how's it going, man? Thanks for jumping on. We're going to make it. We're not doing too shabby. A little bit of mud right there. Will it kind of stay right? Ooh, that was a hard hit. I think I got a hard corner right here. I think I need to go that way. We got it. I still feel it. We're not we're not gonna worry about the trailer. It's back there. We, got, we still got it. I can still feel it. Um where is this road at now? All right, I'm, I need to turn hard right. Let's roll back a little bit. There's the road right there. One thing I couldn't see is when you're in uh, third person there, I couldn't see the road because there was too much vegetation, right? <laughs> 
We're making it. I got the headlights on. See, they're on. Headlights are on, man. Going downhill in the first person to Clifford is scary. It is. We can't see where the heck we're going, man. We're making it. There's our destination right there. We might we might shift into low gear now. We got a hard corner coming up down here too. We're just gonna coast on down real quick. We got it. Boggy, we're enjoying the game like crazy, man. I love this game. It's been a lot of fun. Had a lot of fun streaming it as well. If you guys are enjoying it, make sure you stash that like button. We'll probably play it. We'll probably stream it some more. We're still, we haven't even gone. After we make this delivery, we're going to go into the new area before the end of the stream. I got to look and see what this looks like. Jeez. We made it, though. And we didn't take out his sign. That's a plus right there. Now, all we got to do is just get our nose in this, uh, yellow square and we can uh, unload all our stuff nice 1600 bucks and 180 points for this thing uh, i need to go a little farther is it not uh show task restart it yeah um do i need to go in here farther Usually I just barely touch this and it works. Why is this not? This is where we're supposed to be, right? Oh, the delivery's back there? Come on, dude. Behind the house? You want to deliver behind the house? Seriously? <laughs> we'll be able to deliver this stuff behind the house. Come on now. In the garden. Right? Screw it. This guy can build, rebuild his fence. He wants all this stuff in the backyard. I was trying to be nice. Oh, the freaking stump right here. Did you see the precision of that turn right there? Did you guys see that? That was on point. Did you see what I just, this, oh my gosh, I can't get over that. <laughs> Unload it all. Boosh. Got it. Nice. Later, dude. We can climb up this hill. So much of the fences. Why well, I just gave a whole bunch of wood. So, uh, he can rebuild his fence. Yeah, we're stuck. We're stuck. We're getting rid of the trailer. And uh, we're just going back to the garage. Trailer could stay there. There's trailers everywhere. We're good. You need to take the time to explore and get those upgrades to make the job a lot easier. Mystic, yeah. We're going to do that right now. Beautiful execution of the drop-off. Beautiful. Full send right into the backyard. It was like, I noticed that stump at the last second, made a quick, quick decision and just whipped that sucker right in there. Get me, kitty. It was perfect, man. Sell trailers to buy upgrades. I can sell all those trailers. See, I'm learning stuff all the time. Do I have to pull that trailer into the trailer store outside? All right, we're gonna go do some exploring now, guys. Uh, we're gonna jump into our uh, truck here. And uh, we gotta cruise up into town and go into the new area. We haven't been to it yet. It's gonna be new for both of us. Last 20 minutes of stream here, we'll be cruising into a new area and go exploring, all right? Thanks for sticking around, everybody, and doing that delivery with us. It was a lot of fun. Learning tons of stuff, having fun. This game is uh, a lot of fun. I'm going to tell you now, the these tires do not turn on the road very well.
blasting through there. Bloosh. Let's go do some exploring. Have some fun. At the trailer store? Alright, man, I'll remember that, man. The one at your garage there. Uh, technically, I haven't run into the issue right now where I don't have any money. The issue is I don't have any enough leveled up enough, right? So I'll remember that. I'll remember that when I uh, level up enough to be able to buy some big upgrades and need money. The, ch the truck has the same code as El Cheapo. <laughs> Got that right, man. It was it was my uh, the truck you started with too. I didn't pay anything to this truck. Right, we got a little bit ways to go, but this truck goes a little quicker. We'll be there in just a couple minutes. If I don't run into everything. Uh, let's go into, let's try to drive this truck like this. This truck even looks like a freaking Chevy in the front of it, right? In the dash. I mean, they did a good job. Boom! Right over that tree. They did a nice job at uh, making this stuff look authentic in the inside and stuff. We're on a mission, a mission of discovery. That was your first truck? Yeah, this is the one that you start the game with. Uh, I did paint it, and I've done some upgrades to it since then, right? We just got the lift and these new tires today when you guys were on here. And I, the, the crazy uh, differential transmission it has right now with the high, high gear on it. Can you guys see that underneath the log meter? You can't really see it. Uh, it's got an upgraded like off-road transmission as well that I found. All right, we're going to full send it to the creek. Oh, I got a little off there. Oh, Jesus, this might be bad. Trying to 50 50 grind. This isn't freaking Tony Hawk, man. <laughs> it's not Tony Hawk. Full send. Wonder if you can 50 50 grind that whole thing. That's our next goal. I should have got some gas. Alright, straight through town. Worked all summer for what? You got a, an S10 Chevy in high school? Nice, man. Yeah, I'm not driving too straight. There we go. I'm trying to read chat too much. <laughs> Guys got our heist going. Good luck to everybody in the heist. All right, we're going to make it into a new area that I haven't been to at all. Technically, I went to it and then came straight back. So I wanted to go to it with you guys. It's way up this way. It's called something damn. Smith, Smithville Dam, I think. Blast through there. Nice in the mud. Now, do I need to unlock that right there? Maybe. I thought I unlocked all those and, like, picked them up. That's a big rock. We're just full speed it through here, man. Why not, right? Freaking rally racing now. Pretty good truck at the bottom of the dam on the side. Go down the dirt road near the dam entrance. Okay, sounds good, man. Thanks for the tip there, Daniel. Rock on. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. <laughs> Wonder how these look not in uh, first person here. I'm pretty sure I'm going the right way. Yeah, this is where we were just at. See, look. Our trailer's going to be right here. Oh, it's not right here. It's up a little farther. This is where we were just at. I'm pretty sure. There's an IHOP around there. A trucker's got to eat. Dude, I'm getting hungry right now, man. I am definitely getting hungry. So here's the location to the next area. So if you guys check our map, see? We're like at the edge of the map. 
Remember when I showed you the global map? This whole area we've been in, and you guys have seen a lot of it, right? We were we were way up here. Uh, we got stuck over in here. This map is big, right? It's only uh, one. It's only a. It's only four of just Michigan. We're gonna go over to Smithville Dam right now and uh, check it out a little bit. There's, there's a lot of stuff in this freaking game, man. It's big, I tell you. Abdullah, how's it going, man? Thanks for jumping on. Hope you're having a great night, or day, or afternoon, or morning, wherever it is where you're at. Alexander Winston invented the semi-trailer. What'd that say in... When? There we go. See, now we're in a whole new area. Smithville Dam, Michigan. Alright, let's get out of this area real quick. And uh, if we take a look at our map... Look, see? Nothing. Nothing. So to unlock all this stuff, we have to go to all these uh, watchtowers, and that's what opens them up. I mean, you can just drive around and get little open, like, you know, little areas that are open. Like, if you could see where we are down here, you know, I mean, it's slowly opening up, but when you do that, it's a pretty big area. We got a service hub down here. I wonder if that's like a garage. All right, I would think this watchtower is gonna be up that dirt road. Let's go see if we can find that thing. I don't think it was that way, right? There's a road up here. I think it's this dirt road right here. It's actually morning for you. Rock on, man. Oh, yeah. This looks like some good times here, right? Stellar J, how's it going, man? Thank you for jumping on. Let's get this thing in the... Four high, man. We need four high for this stuff. So I don't know, I don't know where we're going. Hopefully the watchtower is out this way. It might not be, but who cares? We're still having fun going out here. Maybe getting stuck. Oh no, we're okay. It's pretty muddy. So do you guys see the watchtower over there yet? I don't see it yet. Well, we'll do some investigating. Good job, hope you're doing well. Rock on, man. Thanks for jumping on and checking out the stream today. I am doing pretty dang good. Good Saturday, man. It's been a good Saturday. A little rainy today here in the Pacific Northwest. We'll be nicer tomorrow. Doing some house clean out stuff. Hopefully I'm closing this week. Uh, we ran into a little hitch with the county waiting on their timeline. All of our stuff is good. All right. There it looks like the watchtower is up there. Yeah. I'm pretty sure we're uh, in going in the right direction here. Looks like that's it up there. Uh-oh. Uh, why am I stuck? Oh, I'm not in all-wheel drive. What happened? Why did we all get there? Was I not in all-wheel drive last time? I was just in four high and not in all-wheel drive? I probably was. My bad. This goes to, it's on the road, huh? This road is water. We got it, we got a snorkel, we're okay. It's getting a little deep. Maybe we shouldn't have uh, just went straight through it. Oh man, this is deep. Oh geez. Man, we're still moving. That was close, man. That was close. You gotta drive a few 28 foot Kenworth flatbeds a few years back? Nice, man. Oh, we're stuck. Yeah, I've never driven any big rigs on like the road itself. I've driven a lot of stuff. Like I said, my dad used to own a, a log truck, so I've driven, you know, I've. I've driven around the yard, things like that, you know. 
I mean like the lumber yard, not like my backyard. <laughs> He's also, my dad was a diesel mechanic his entire life and uh, one of my first jobs was working at one of his mechanic places so I used to drive the trucks around, um, you know, that place and stuff like that as well. All right, yeah, we're in the right direction. Yeah, straight up there, straight, straight up this road. Nice. On our way. Zoning kicks you out. Of what? Zoning kicks you out of what? Stellar says this game looks great. It is a lot of fun, man. Driver arm uh, must be jacked. That driver, this driver's arm right here. From getting bounced around so much? Probably. Bruce has driven 18 wheelers as well. Rock on, man. Yeah, I didn't have an all-wheel drive, did I? I don't think I did. All right, there we go. So we made it to the first watchtower. Get a little cutscene. Now if we go check out our map. There, we un look at how big it opened up, right? All kinds of stuff. We got hungry workers over here. Ooh, there's an upgrade over there. Upgrade! We got a garage for this area we can go discover. Uh, service station. I'm not sure what that is. Is that like a gas station? So we got some fallen rocks we got to take care of in a delivery. Um, let's go get this upgrade real quick. Yeah. It's just straight down this road we're on. And we're going to make a, a hard left there and then all the way up that road. That's a pretty easy one to finish up. Let's go see what we can get with that upgrade before it streams over. Off we go. New object, uh, new objective discovered. Of course, man. Got some more water here. Hopefully, it's not too deep. Oh man, this is some mud right here. We got it. We got it. Oh, uh, we might be kind of stuck. No, we're still moving. We're still inching. We made it. Give me a second, guys. I'll get it brightened up for us in a minute, all right? I love that you can do that. You can just make it daytime all the time. I was a crane operator for years installing uh, billboards all over Texas in, the, in uh, your 20s. Rock on, man. This is some mud. Luckily, I got this truck jacked up and some big old friggin' tractor tires on it, right? Some big old tractor tires. We're good in this mud, let me tell you. Uh, Bruce, go uh, up on the D-pad and then just go to recover right there. Go up on the D-pad and go to recover and it'll, it'll take your truck straight back to the, the garage. And then... If you have, if you find a truck and you have a multiple truck on the map, uh, you go to go to your map. You can actually go to this truck, and you can uh, click R three to select it, and then you hit X a couple of times, and you can transport that truck and then send it back to your garage as well. It took me a while to figure that out, so you can have all your vehicles at your garage. All right, where are we going? I'm almost out of gas. Oh my gosh. We're going to run out of gas. Fantastic. We are going to run out of gas. Uh, we can probably at least make it to the upgrade. Come on. Take it out of full wheel drive. We're going to need full wheel drive probably. We need to try to get to that upgrade real quick. Before we have to freaking reset. Because I don't know if this thing resets it'll send me all the way back to my other garage that would be fantastic wouldn't it let's see go around that that would have been fun to go through but uh we got to kind of go quick and not waste our waste our gas oh geez Uh, I think we're dead. See what see what one little mistake happens. See what happens. One little mistake. 
One little mistake. I hit that rut and it threw me sideways. Look at my skin marks. You guys see my skin marks? You see it? We effed it. We flipped it. <laughs> that sucks, man. Only thing I can do now is reset it back to the garage. Now, I'm afraid it might go back to the the far garage. I'm not quite sure though. That sucks. I should have just I should have tried to recover. I tried I didn't want to go in the mud because I didn't want to waste my gas. And I tried to recover. Dang, that back wheel dropped in that ditch. Freaking flipped us. That's what's cool about this game, man. It's pretty realistic. And now we're stuck in the mud. Now we're stuck upside down in the mud. Probably drowning. We're probably drowning right now. Right? That's awesome. Well, that's a good place to stop it, man. I had a lot of fun. It's been it's been awesome. You guys jumping on. Man, we're flipped in the mud. I've had a lot of fun playing this game with you guys. Looks like you guys have had a lot of fun hanging out with it as well. So I'm super excited to stream it some more. We'll be streaming this game quite a lot, actually. I've been having lots of fun. It'll be our go-to for a while. Uh, well, I don't know. I've been having a lot of fun with Man Eater as well. We're probably going to keep going with that one as well. And dang it, every time someone makes it rain after I go to this channel, after I go to this scene, I am... Right now, I got to remember. I got to change it so this scene has all that cool stuff on as well so you guys uh, get all those alerts up on the pop on the screen. Gilbots, rock on, man. Thanks for making it rain. Send everybody 40 points. Shout out to Gilbots. Much appreciated, man. Hope you guys had a great weekend. Hope you have a great Saturday. Stay safe out there. Have some fun playing some games. Hope to see you on the prairie sometime. But until then, see you later.